We're here at the Island Grown Farm for the ribbon cutting ceremony for our brand new staff housing. I'm Rebecca Hag and I'm the executive director of Island Grown Initiative. We now have 5,200 Islanders that we serve at our Island Food Pantry. And a lot of that's driven by the fact that they're paying very high prices for rent, they're paying very high prices for fuel, and those were the same issues facing our employees. So we've talked to South Mountain and said, what we want to create is the kind of housing that somebody can feel secure in, have some long-term commitment to, and want to stay and be a professional on Martha's Vineyard. We need these folks. Someone working year-round needs to earn five times the island's median income in order to afford to purchase a home in today's real estate market. If you don't have housing in your business plan, you don't have a viable business plan. At IGI, we decided that we needed to be part of the housing solution and devote resources to building beautiful, energy efficient housing for our staff. And today is a milestone when we get to offer nine people in the IGI family, including three children, stable, affordable housing. And one of these staff members is our fantastic education director, <laughs> Emily Armstrong. <laughs> 10 years ago, IGI offered us an apartment on this property and that gave us some stability. And in that time, we got married, we had a son, he's now eight years old. And he said he wants to make sure you guys know how excited, first of all, we are to have neighbors. <laughs> he's really excited to have neighbors. And he's going to have his own room, which he's never had. Thank you to everyone who made this housing happen. It really means so much to me and my family. I've never actually had laundry in my house before, so very excited about that. Kitchen, looking forward to cooking lots of wonderful food from the farm in here. The wonderful view of the farm fields. Really looking forward to those trees blooming any day now. And two bedrooms. Theo wants to live in there, and then my husband and I are gonna have that room. Yeah. I just really can't say enough about our donor community on Martha's Vineyard. We have been blessed with incredible people who live here seasonally, but they want to be part of this community. And they believe that this community is not just about them, but about all of us who live here and work here. And so I'm sending them their best wishes. Thank you so much because you made all of this possible. With the help of our donors, we've been able to build this housing that's going to make such a difference in our organization and in the lives of the people who will be living in these homes. We just couldn't be more grateful.